Hello everybody, welcome to Fun Night Friday. Hey, we got us a Filipino bolo here today. Now I've done a video on this knife before, but I did it in the indoor studio and it was just hard to, to get a perspective on how big a knife that this is. What a wonderful blade. Also, I heard of some speculation. When it comes to Jim Bowie and his famous knife, um, there are some out there speculating that Jim Bowie's uh, wife was a Filipina. And if that were the case, perhaps he got the design for his famous Bowie knife from a blade from the Philippines. Now, whether or not he was married uh, to a Filipina, I don't know. I don't give it a lot of credence. However, if you watch my uh, video on the bolos, it, it would not be a big stretch to say that because of the Spanish uh, exporting the blade technology out of the Philippines throughout the world, it's, it's not hard to speculate or to imagine that David Bowie saw a knife something like this and gave him the inspiration for his design. Now if you'll see here today, I've got a new outdoor location. This area is called Sunken Grove. And for those that are interested, I'll put some more information at the end of this video uh, on Sunken Grove. So I was able to purchase this knife when I was uh, stationed in the Philippines. And there's one of the indigenous tribes there that carried a knife just like this. And let me tell you, they didn't do bushcrafting as a hobby on the weekends. They lived in the jungle. And they, they depended on knives like this for their very survival. Now, I believe that these knives were made out of old leaf springs from cars and trucks. So it's a simple carbon blade, carbon steel blade. I have no idea for sure what the steel is. But let me tell you, uh, the men that carried these and used these, they were very proficient with them. They could even, I, I'd watch them, they'd even get pinched up here and do fine work up here with the tip. And as you can see, it is a nice clip there. Has a really nice handle on it here. A brass guard, solid brass. And you can see here, the loop here in the, in the wood. Gives you a, a firm place to uh, rest your fist against. You can really swing and cut with this. Now it's not a machete. Machetes are longer, uh, more squared, and they're heavier on the end. So you can swing easier like that without uh, wearing your wrist and your arm out. Now this is a cutter and I used to watch them uh, well primarily um, harvest bamboo, work with bamboo which is a readily available there. It's a building product and they made all kinds of things out of bamboo. So this was a very useful knife for them. The knife comes in a sheath it's made out of wood and you can stick the knife in there like like so push it in and you push it down and it locks the knife in place you can see a little bit of decorative artwork there the men wore them they would just tie a string through a hole here and they would just tie this around their waist and carry it An important news update. The threat of legal action by circling lawyers has forced Knife Delights into arbitration with History Delights over the use of history content. Stay tuned for further updates. This has been Hawkeye Hound reporting. Boy, I tell you what, that reporter is getting pretty irritating. He keeps interrupting my videos. So I think I'll wrap up this video here for today, kind of keep it short and sweet. Like I said, um, I'll do a little bit of history here on the uh, Sunken Grove area. I'll take some close-ups and pictures of this uh, bolo. And uh, I just want to wish everybody a, a very happy, delightful, fun knife Friday. And if you're enjoying my videos, why please hit the like button and that subscribe button. So, in next, so until next time, have a very delightful day.